is Simone. My name is Simone. And for those of you who are brand new to my channel, it is a glam decor DIY and lifestyle channel. So if this is something that you're into, you're going to love my content. Please feel free to surf through some of my previous content and you guys can get a really good feel for what my channel has to offer. To existing and new subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And with that being said, guys, today I have a huge treat. Today is going to be my very first video on a clothing try-on haul. I'm super excited about this. Um, I know you guys are going to hear some noise in the background. It's seven degrees in Toronto, Canada today. For us, that's warm. I am so hot inside. Outside is beautiful, but inside I'm so hot. So I've opened my window. So you guys are going to be hearing a little bit of noise in the background. I apologize for that. Before we go into the haul, which by the way, my haul is 90% Shein clothing. And then I do have 10% of the Shoe Dazzle clothing. Yeah, guys, Shoe Dazzle makes clothes. Can you believe that? Couldn't believe it. I was just, I was like, what? I have to order something and it did not disappoint. I can't wait for you guys to see those items. But before we go into the haul, I want to show you two accessories that I got from Shein. Now, okay. I'm going to give them a pass on the delivery um, because the first time I ordered from them, delivery was like, boom, it came here so quick. I was super excited. And in this time, I had to wait for all, just about three weeks. I understand that we're not living in normal circumstances, so I'm not going to complain about the delivery, even though I was a little irritated. I have to be understanding to the climate that we're living in right now and the expectations. So I give them a pass on delivery. But what I don't give them a pass on is this plastic fanny pack. Now, guys, I'm going to insert a picture. You see that picture? Okay. That's what I thought I was getting. Listen, I'm not wearing this ever, okay? It is so cheap. First of all, this... this doesn't even feel like a strap. It feels like something that you would have on a jacket or something like that. It's not a handle, okay? This part here is just plastic. Um, this is plastic. Listen, plastic, plastic, plastic. The, the bag is constructed well, don't get me wrong. It's stitched well and everything. But it is just so cheap. Like, look at this. Seriously, my bag should not do this. So this is a no for me. I don't mind ordering things that are not brand name or that are not super expensive. If I can get something that's quality. I mean, this is something that I would personally give to, like, a, a kid, like a 10-year-old or something. You know, put this on their outfit maybe even younger or let them play with it this is not something that i would wear i mean listen if it's your bag of tea it's your bag of tea but for me it's it's not anything that i would actually wear it is so small i mean look at my hand okay i'm plus size like this is gonna fit me like a buckle it doesn't <laughs> doesn't make any sense but let's have a look at the inside i, I didn't like that it's listen it's like plastic and I don't like that plastic inner part because that rips after a while. And then when that's ripped, I mean, the whole thing is just garbage, right? So I'm not going to send it back. I never send anything back, honestly. Uh, but I probably could figure out a DIY and, and just keep this and use it for parts. So we'll see. Like I said, we're going to move on to the next one, okay? This was a home run. I have seen these purses everywhere and i finally got one guys i am obsessed with this purse i love it love it love it i think it's stunning i love everything about it. now i don't care if it's grammatically correct i don't care if it's you know looking exactly the way one looks at two thousand dollars or a hundred i don't care the point is it gives the same impression of something that is luxury that i like and it opens up like this 
Now it is a bit tight. Um, you know, you don't want to yank it open. It is a bit tight, but it does have some nice little sides here, so nothing's gonna fall out. It comes with a long strap, which I probably would never use because uh, I find the strap looks a little cheap. But if you do want to use a strap, it does have these little hooks, which is kind of cool because it's not on the outside of the bag, it's on the inside. But yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it allows it to close and then you can have the handle there. So I think that's beautiful. Now, please forgive the footage of my try-ons. I could not for the life of me figure out how to get my lighting to be fine. So a lot of it is a little bit muted. I've inputted the actual picture from the website and all of the items are true to color. So just keep that in mind when you're watching the video. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to talk anymore. Here is my very first Shein slash Shoe Dazzle clothing plus size try and haul. Enjoy. So this is one of my favorites. The color is exactly like the color in the picture, unfortunately. I was having some issues with my lighting, so most of the items did come out a little bit muted, but they are true to color. The fit is so comfortable. It is a ribbed material. I love that the neck isn't super tight. I was able to get into it, no issues. Under the breast area, there's a faux, like a fake bra line mark. I'm okay with it, not a huge fan, but I still love the dress and I won't have a problem wearing it. There is no zipper, so this is really nice and easy just to slip on and you're good to go and it is such an appropriate length. And I got this in a 2XL. Guys, this by far is on the top of my list of favorites. I got this leather jacket, believe it or not, from Shoe Dazzle. I had never even looked to see if they sell clothes and when I did, I saw this jacket, I took a chance. It is a double XL, so it was not plus size and I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit me, but when I got it, I was just so excited. I love it, it's got pockets on both sides, nice and deep. The leathered material is very soft. It doesn't feel like it will crack or crease. It's got beautiful silver accents as the hardware and it also has a belt. I'm not a huge fan of the belt because it is soft and I would like something more structured. It does zip all the way up and I love how the zipper part is on the side. Um, if I was to change the belt though, I would wear something that has a little bit more support. But even though the belt is soft, it's still very well made. Guys, just look at how beautiful this is. It's a true deep black. It's not like a smoky black. It's actually a real deep black. And I think these zippers on the front collar area towards the collar area is just a real great accent guys this oversized blazer or boyfriend blazer is a another great find from shoe dazzle i have to say like the quality of their items is really really good i'm so surprised it has gorgeous gold buttons down the front it is also lined on the inside so it's not one of those cheaply made jackets the only thing with mine is I did get it in a 3x I should have gotten it in a 2 or even a 1x because it's quite big around the bust area but everywhere else fits me exactly the way I want it to so I definitely will most likely be doing an adjustment to it but aside from that I'm super happy with the fit and I think it's very flattering and guys, yes, this blazer does have pockets. How adorable is this dress, guys? I got it from Shein. I love the print on this. It is so beautiful. Now, I did get this in a 2XL. In theory, I could have gotten a 1X, but to tell you the truth, I don't like things that are too, too tight on me. I don't find it's very flattering. So I decided to go with the 2XL. Now, the length of it is fine. I would still wear bicycle shorts underneath it just to make me feel more comfortable when moving around in case it does ride up. But beside that, I hit a home run with this one. I have next to no green. Actually, I have nothing green in my closet, just to be truthful. Um, so this is one of my first green pieces, and I just wish the camera would pick up the true color. It is a beautiful olive green, just like in the image prior to seeing me do the try-on. Now, it comes with a tie. I mean, you can wear it both ways, with or without the tie. 
uh, for me it just depends on my mood but it does look cute when it is tied up I like to tie my bows to the side and I love how long the string is on the tie my favorite part of this dress is the off the shoulder it just makes the outfit look so effortless but so classy and I really really love it I find it to be a little sexy without having to be overly dramatic or tight or anything like that so this definitely is a fave of mine and as always i am definitely wearing shorts below look so I stepped out of my comfort zone for this dress I think the pattern is absolutely stunning it is a floral print on kind of an off-white background the rouging of this is so flattering especially to anybody who is plus size like myself or if you are average size and you have a bit of a tummy rouging does wonders to camouflage that area this dress makes me feel really pretty and I did get it in a 2XL I probably could have sized up I'm comfortable with it enough I am on a weight loss journey so I think I'll probably just hang this up in the closet for a couple more months and hopefully by summertime when I try it back on again it is more flattering but right now it does make me feel good it makes me feel really girly and feminine and I like that I like when you put in an outfit and it creates a mood because of how it looks on you so definitely gonna hang on to this not gonna be wearing it right away but I look forward to wearing it when I'm a little smaller similar to the last dress I don't have any little black dresses anymore because I cleaned out my wardrobe but guys this dress is so beautiful it's actually one of my brother's favorites uh, of the haul that I got the rouging is the front the back the sides I mean it is so flattering it hides so many imperfections and I, I didn't wear shapewear with any of, of my outfits today so imagine if it looks like this with no shapewear what it would look like with shapewear definitely a go-to little black dress okay I love 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 this top this top made me feel so good not only is it quality it feels and looks expensive I mean it is stitched to the nines I love everything about this top the sleeves and guys I don't like sleeves I roll sleeves up all the time but I will not be rolling these ones up I really love the way that the sleeves balloon and they don't balloon from the shoulder they balloon just a little bit further down and then right down to the wrist I think it's so so classic this is a must-have piece it's gonna look good on all body types whether you are tall or short or plus size or average or even if you are smaller than the average size it's just one of those pieces that was really well made and well thought out the necktie I folded it over because I don't have much of a neck so if I wear it too thick I will look like I have no neck at all but I really do love that necktie part sometimes I don't want to wear a necklace and this helps to eliminate having to put unnecessary accessories to complete an outfit I love this I would wear this with a skirt with jeans with shorts whatever I just think it will look good with everything okay guys so this little floral mesh piece here I don't know how I feel about it to tell you the truth I might hold on to it for a little bit longer guys don't mind sports bra uh, it, it is from one of the pieces you're gonna see in the haul um, I think the flowers are really beautiful I think it's very feminine it's very playful it's a pebblem so it goes in in the smallest part and comes out um, there's not a lot I don't like about it to tell you the truth the only thing that I have an issue with is I feel like it's just a little too short in the front area and I feel like if it was half an inch longer it would just be way more flattering can I pull it off probably especially if I put a jacket or a blazer with it but I think I'll hold on to this piece for a couple more months try it on again when I'm a bit smaller and I think at that point it's going to look a lot more flattering but I can get away with it now I just know the way that I want it to fit and I'm very close to that goal this top is from Shein in size 2XL it is so whimsical it's so feminine it's so dainty it's light but guys you know I don't like sleeves and this is one of those shirts that the sleeves will irritate me 
So I definitely am going to be rolling up the sleeves when I wear this. Um, the sleeve actually has a beautiful uh, elasticity around the wrist part, which makes it a bit comfortable. But for me, I just don't like sleeves. So we're going to roll that up. It's going to feel a lot better. And this is definitely something I will wear in the summertime with a black tank top underneath or even just a bra. You can get away with just a bra because of the layered ruffles. Um, but yeah, I do love this piece. I think it's very pretty. And again, it's one of those shirts that can fit all body types. Below average, average, and plus size. Guys, we will all look gorgeous in this material that is cut this way and fits that fit this way is very flattering on all of our bodies. This is definitely one of those shirts that I will be getting a lot of wear out. And you can wear it all season because it's thin enough for you to feel comfortable wearing a jacket or a blazer over top of it or even a sweater or a cardigan and it's also thin enough for you to feel comfortable wearing it in the summertime so this is definitely a good investment piece and is great to have as part of your wardrobe and there's the little ruffle i was saying to you guys before and showing the elasticity of it it is a really really good shirt and i think this is a great addition to any wardrobe all right guys so here is the army active wear set this is the tank top that i've had a sports bra sorry that i've had on through the last two or three shirts um now i should have gotten a smaller size but guys you're never going to believe first of all where i got this from i got this from shoe dazzle dead serious they did not come to play they have stepped up their game with their clothing and the quality like it actually feels like i paid quite a significant amount of money for this and i didn't i think i will order this again in size down i got it in a 2x i really should just get a 1x but besides that i like it it's got really great deep pockets and it's comfortable so definitely a good addition guys when i saw this shirt i fell in love it's one of those like shirt dresses i just threw it over what i was wearing in the last clip <laughs> but um i wouldn't necessarily wear it this way i would wear bicycle shorts as one look with running shoes and maybe a fanny pack or a side cross bag that would look really cute or you can belt it and wear it with heels i mean it's very versatile if you want you can tuck it halfway in or you can tuck it the full way there's so many ways to wear this but i think everyone should have an oversized collared shirt in their wardrobe it comes and it has pleated pockets really deep pockets which I like, I find it very flattering. And even though I'm busty, it doesn't look wild, like it doesn't look inappropriate. It still fits nice and smooth. The back of it has beautiful pleating and it just adds a lot of sophistication and it makes it look expensive. I was truly excited about this piece because I've never owned anything like this before. And it did not let me down, guys. This piece is from Shein it is the cutest little dress ever now it is not two pieces it is just one piece but the little black area on it here it looks like i'm wearing a crop top over top of a white long dress so i love that look the sleeves are gorgeous i love how the sleeves are very dramatic it adds so much character and that drama is caused by just rouging the collar the neck is so comfortable i hate feeling like i'm choking and girls now come on sometimes we get those shirts where we have to squeeze our head through and then the whole day you're tugging at your neck this is not one of those this is such a great fit i find it very flattering it is ribbed but it's tiny ribs on it so it does give it that quality look and feel again i gotta apologize for my camera it's not showing the true color but it is a very rich black part of the dress i think it looks flattering from the back the front and guys yeah you guessed it by now i would wear bicycle shorts underneath it i wear shorts underneath almost everything just as a modesty thing and also i don't like to have to be worried about tugging and pulling my clothes down if it does happen to go up a little bit how fun are these pants guys i felt so excited 
It's a great fit. I mean, I should have sized down. This is from Shein, and I got it in a 1X. I should have gotten a 0X, but you know what? It's fine. I'll go ahead and take it in where I need to, but look at the fringe, fringe, fringe. If this doesn't scream fun, I don't know what does. I got this set as well. It's the shorts and crop top set. The pants were huge, but I really wanted the top. So I got this again from Shein in a 2XL. And the reason why I got the top was because I wanted to wear it with these longer pants. So what I did was I have this mesh piece that I wear and I like to layer over top of it. I just put the cropped fringe part on top of it and I put that with the fringed pants and I love the look. Once it's been accessorized and styled with shoes and things like that, this is such a great outfit. Now guys, this skirt, I love it. This is from Shein. Uh, it is actually from the maternity section. And the reason why I got it in the, from the maternity section is that I find that some of them, the waist of the skirt can be very tight and uncomfortable. And I wanted something that was going to fit more um, loose. I didn't want it to be squeezing into me. And here's a nice hack for plus size. When you're getting skirts, if they have the same thing in a maternity um, section, that's a good option because they tend to fit more comfortable. Again, I don't like feeling restricted. I love the rouge in. I love this rich plum color. It is one of my favorite colors that I just don't wear enough of. Mm -hmm.